Notice. Entry locked. This entry is locked behind 05 level restrictions and should only be opened if granted access by your site's director or vanguard command has given expressed permission to view said entry. Please contact your lead for more information if you are confused. Good afternoon everyone, and today we'll be discussing HVT-089, target class Theodis, reclassified from Archimedes with a causality class of Paracausal, and an observation level of O5 classified. Designation The Helpful Guardian Rules of Engagement Fire teams operating in areas where 089 has been reported should avoid all contact with HVT-089. No hostile action is needed if contact with 089 is unavoidable, as the Hive Light Bearer seems to hold no malintent towards allies of humanity, until a decision from Upper Vanguard Command can be decided on when it comes to dealing with HVT-089, all ongoing operations should avoid engaging HVT-089 if possible. Description: HVT-089 is a resurrected hive gifted with the light. While no real origin is known on the entity, 089 fits the description of a night-class hive with its three eyes glowing a bright blue. Followed with markings along its thighs and biceps that also glow the same color, interestingly enough, these markings and overall glowing aura were not first there when initially spotted. While no confirmation on this has been made, staff theorize these to be visual representations on the hive's power reservoir. Besides being armed with the traditional hive sword made of bone and metal, HVT-089's light seems to be manifested in powerful arc energy that amplifies the user's strength and speed by an extraordinary amount. Addendum 089-1 while usual light-bearing hive are not too much of a threat for vetted fire teams, HVT-089 has presented us with a unique circumstance. While this enemy of my enemy has at least now worked in the interest of the Vanguard, our intel cannot safely suggest that HVT-089 will be our ally in perpetuity, which leads us to a difficult impasse. Should HVT-089 continue to operate in its current capacity, 089 will continue to grow in strength. As of even now, with every Hive Guardian slain and every powerful Hive that rises to fill the power vacuum left in the wake of the defeated Witch Queen, 089 has dealt with this issue, and with each kill, a sizable amplification in power and influence has been gained. As it would seem, the logic of the sword that the Hive subscribes to has greatly benefited HVT-089. Should HVT-089 continue to maneuver in the throne world and beyond, a cause and effect will be in play. No Hive from the Witch Queen's brood will be able to overthrow Amaru and take the mantle of the defeated Witch Queen. However, with the uninterrupted flow of power given to HVT-089, the Vanguard will be faced with a midnight level entity on a similar scale to the late Hive Prince Crota. Still though, some in Upper Vanguard Command see an opportunity to make a powerful Hive ally. As our understanding of Hive philosophy, we believe if we were to meet with HVT-089 and prove dominance over the entity, the Vanguard should be able to position themselves as a leader for 089 regardless of how this decision requires haste, as if 089 is to gain too much power before a conclusion can be made, it may see the vanguard as weak and a new victim to take advantage of. Currently, upper command is to meet and discuss the course of action in dealing with HVT-089. Reclassification The following document is a letter from site's chief of staff on the redesignation of HVT-089. This entity has required a new look at our classification system to be more encompassing of a target's intent and threat. Due to the unique positive nature that HVT-089 possesses to the overall mission of the Vanguard and the disruption to our enemy's goals, it is with this letter I write that I suggest a new classification, Theodis, a target that the Vanguard specifically uses to combat enemies of the humanity. Understand that these HVTs should have the information about them restricted from the general populace of Guardians. If word was to get out the Vanguard allied itself with forces of the darkness, it could be used to undermine our position as leaders in the last city, even more so damage relations with Cabal. With only commanding bodies knowing about their existence to assist in proper allocation of Vanguard assets across the solar system, all information should be locked behind O5 level clearance and require a site director 
or Vanguard Commander level approval to break the seal on documentation related to Theatis class entities. Request approved. That concludes today's debrief. Thank you for listening and good luck in the field.